<coughs> this looks good. I don't know. I'm actually starting to not know. So, you want to see if this would have been a problem if we would have used expanding foam to fill that. But what I just noticed is up here, there's another one right there, and obviously, and then up here there's a bunch of vents. But this is supposed to be open. This is supposed to be open for air circulation. Another pink line right here. Maybe the, the, the studs are so damaged. Maybe they have to replace it. It could be a damaged stud. Maybe right here. I don't know. This looks good. I don't know what he's marking. This doesn't look damaged at all. Marked it. I don't know this one. Marked. Might as well do the, the HVAC video. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's just start up here in the master bedroom. Actually, let's finish this up and then we'll we'll run through really quick. Run through. This one, same here. Pink. This one's pink. This one, the stud is, is not, see? The stud is, is not a full piece. So maybe maybe that's why he marked this one. But some of the other ones, I don't know why he marked. Right here. Right here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go through the sprinkler system. So... When we um, when we uh, decide to hang pictures, we'll have an idea of where not to screw in the walls. So, start off with the this is the master bedroom, and up here window right here. This. Up top, right here, so don't have to hang any pictures up high. No HVAC, right? I mean, no sprinkler system right here. No, no worries of any pecs over here. Okay. So just this wall right here. It's up along the wall goes all the way like this and then into the master bath I don't think we'll need to worry about hanging any pictures up there so we're good master bath doesn't have any pecs lines walk-in closet right here we gotta worry about this <clears throat> This is the right hand corner of the walk-in closet. And it goes all the way up like that to the ceiling. And then over. Okay. And then this right here is a laundry room. And it's on the left side and it goes all the way up. It pops out right there. This is the 
the hallway, and bathroom wall, all the way up. So be careful with this one, especially this one right here. So again, bathroom all the way up. Ceiling. Double stud here for the door. One stud, maybe two inches. Two inches to the left of the second stud. Do not screw in there. Linen closet. The only thing I can think of is if we need to screw in something to hold the shelves up. So if we hold that, we have any shelving, do not screw two inches to the right of the stud right here. Going all the way up. Same with this. If we have any shelving, do not screw into this. Okay. Bedroom one. I don't see. Oh, right here. So when you walk into the guest bedroom, it's on the right hand side. It goes all the way up to here. So remember, the sprinkler head will be out, popped out right here, and it'll drop. It'll be the first stud to the right. Do not screw into that. Same with this one on the left side, all the way up. The sprinkler system right here. I think that's it. All right. So we'll see, uh, check back in in a few weeks. It's really hot out. <clears throat> um, not a few weeks. We'll check back in in a few days and see if they update anything. They, uh, Scott said that they're supposed to get the HVAC guys in um, the next few days, but they're working unit by unit. So ours is the last unit, so hopefully they'll have experience by the time they hit to us and those cruise by. Alright guys, catch you later.